Star Citizen plans to have deep science and exploration mechanics, but that's a way a ways before we actually have that in game. However, some brave explorers are doing this already in Star Citizen. We have Operation Icarus. This was a 22-day mission to reach the Stanton Star with a load of objectives, goals, and organization. And these guys really went to town with this. So me and Sin wanted to talk about that in this video, and we've done a bit of research into what actually happened and why. So hello, Sin. Say hello. Hi, Zin. So these guys wanted to travel to the Saturn system. No, the Saturn star. Wait, when, Stanton I'm not, star. They wanted to travel to the Stanton star, Zin. Why? To determine the physicality of the Stanton star. Yeah. Observe any anomalies during the expedition. Does that include, what, like, servers crashing or...? I, I don't know, like, maybe weird stuff that happens on the way to the star. So it, it's more specifically stuff that is unique to... Um, and unique anomalies in the area of the star, I suppose. Mm hmm Determine potential obstacles which could prevent the travel towards the Stanton Star. So if there was literally like a an invisible wall. Okay, yeah. Hard to do in space, but possible, I suppose. And verify the existence of any hard-coded kill radius of the Stanton Star. So, 22-day mission mm -hmm. to reach the Stanton Star. Why not just quantum travel to its in? Why not just boom? Because the um, actual quantum travel marker of the star... It's not only not at the star, it's not even aligned to the star, really. Yeah, because everything's basically on a horizontal plane. Boom. Um, and the centre point of the Stanton system, which you think would be where the star is, isn't actually where the star is. The star's slightly off some, somewhere. How, how slightly is in? How slightly is it off? Oh, gosh. Several million kilometres. Several million kilometres. About 22 days off, yeah? No. From the centre point of the Stanton system to the underside of the, the star, so not even touching the star, like, so on this horizontal plane, from the centre point to where the star is actually kind of positioned... Yeah. ...is several million kilometres. Then... Once they reach that point on the horizontal plane that was actually underneath the star, because the star is actually several million kilometres <laughs> above the horizontal plane. Yeah. Once they reach that point underneath the sun, they then had to travel at normal travel, not quantum travel, because there's no quantum tra quantum points like up. So they had to normal travel towards the star. Okay, so obviously they can't have been on the same server for 22 days unless they got magically lucky. So how did they how did they arrange that? How was that? Because I know lo lots of people were involved in this. It was over over thirty people total. Yeah, I think it was only a small group actually were um, actively online at any one time. Yeah, so they actually they actually had two groups running, so two different servers with two groups. Um, each group consisted of at least two leads and a wing for each of those leads. So four ships. Okay, so four ships with each group. Yeah. So Icarus one and Icarus, and Icarus two. Well, no. No, what? Ic Icarus 1 was the trial run. Oh, okay. Icarus 2 was the actual run. So they, they did a trial for this first? Yes. Okay, how long did that take? I think, it, I'm pretty sure it took them 18 days, but I don't know exactly what they did. So I believe the trial run took 18 days, but they didn't get very far. Okay, and then they thought, fuck it, we'll do it live. So, well, I think they, they may have called it a trial run. It might have been their first attempt, but then they were like going, this isn't working, it's going to take ages or things are happening and we need to deal with this so they went back to the drawing board created this two lead two wing setup uh, they may have even had more ships participating i'm not sure but this was the base and you'd start with your first lead ship would go to the the point i was talking about so on the horizontal plane the yep. point that is underneath the star so they quantum travel underneath the star Boom. yeah so they can use quantum travel to get there because obviously you can you can cancel your quantum travel so they yeah they they align it between two things across the, the uh, star system, and then they quantum travel halfway there, and then come out of quantum, and then they're basically underneath the star. Although there's yeah. going to be a little bit of aligning needed, but pretty much underneath it. And that point was called Papa Delta. Yeah, why not? That, that that's what they called it. Um, so the first lead ship, or maybe all ships, will um, go to point Papa Delta, make some weird alignments. I don't know how they did it and obviously pointed towards the star and just started flying. So lead A would just start flying for however long. At some point, their wing would come along. So wing A would quantum travel to lead A and then bedlock on their ship, creating a spawn point, essentially. A backup 
point in case a backup point everything goes wrong or the server yeah. crashes yeah while this is happening lead a st- still keeps going he just keeps going for as long as his ship can can manage for as long as the server will allow him to if for some reason the server crashes before another person's able to come along and bedlog they just suck it up go back to the the closest point and just carry on going and did, do we know if that happened to them much at all yes quite a lot okay yeah okay <laughs> Um, also, because of the way they were, they were doing this with the bed logs, if they had to server jump or the server crash, they can carry on on, on a different server. It, it wasn't a problem. There's also another couple of roles that were within that sort of like little group. There's the, mm-hmm. the caretaker who um, is just sort of making sure that the what the server health's okay. Yeah, uh, I guess they just they're just pottering around playing the game, but they just check the server health. So there's a command you can type in that shows you numbers. And as long as these numbers are correct, <laughs> the server should be okay. And it'll let people know if there's going to be a... Um, More likely to be a server crash or problems. A server crash. Or if you're having trouble connecting, it'll also inform you of that. And you also had the what the Pathfinder, who the idea there was to make sure they got to the proper Papa Delta point or um, were like doing um, flight corrections as needed to get to the star more quickly. Yeah, so the Pathfinder established the initial mission location at point Papa Delta... They also periodically check and correct flight leads course towards the star. So I'm not quite sure how they do that because there's not much to align with. I'm sure you could get someone on the opposite side of the star or something. No, there is there is no opposite side of the star. There is no opposite side of the star. Because horizontal plane, star is vertical. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I'm sure someone smart could work out exactly how they could... Yeah, I'm sure they... they, they, they apparently they got got people to help them with the coordinations for exactly where pa- point papa delta is as well okay so they've got they've got some sort of working formula that worked and they actually they actually got to the star mm-hmm. but before we talked about this Zin, you said continuing mission continuing mission so so this this ended i thought this ended on the 29th of june i thought they completed their <laughs> their run so on the 29th of june which took them 22 days which was much shorter than the projected mission time yeah that right that doesn't seem like long at all <laughs> <laughs> so that was only to the surface of the moon of the moon of the star so that was only to the surface of the star so they've managed to breach the surface of the star pass through it it's not illuminated on the inside, uh, and if you look out through it, you can't you can't see the the star's three D model, as it were. Yeah, so it, it only projects uh, that it's an object externally, yeah, not internally. Yeah, that was Icarus two who made that mission. Icarus one did the trial mission. Get wrecked, Icarus. Oh no, wait, no. That's, that's <laughs> Icarus mission. two did the successful mission from Point Papa Delta to the stars, the surface of the star. Okay. Uh, Icarus 3 are now continuing the mission to the core of the star. So ongoing mission because they've now got a new set of goals, which is get to the core of the, the sun and assumedly um, run the same sort of tests mm-hmm. uh, that they were, they were running. So did they notice um, anything? Obviously, there's no kill box because otherwise they wouldn't be able to continue the, the mission. Yeah, from what I can tell, nothing. There's nothing there. So not very interesting at all. Well, I mean, it's interesting that people have the time, effort, and ability to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that is a genuine achieve. Good job. I would have been disappointed that there wasn't something there, like some sort of Easter egg, maybe. A Pico. A, a giant Pico. Pico. Yeah. We well, never know. Maybe there is one at the core of the, the, the star. Oh, my God. Just a, a code written on a bit of paper that gets you a free ship. So the remaining 696 thousand kilometers to the center of the stanton star and is projected to take eight days okay that's pretty cool so just just over a week or, or around a week now mm-hmm. um we're gonna see what they found at the core uh, core of the sun which we're assuming is a great big nothing however or a pico or a pico maybe um that's where the the, the fabled pico balls are maybe it's just a big chief i mean Someone doing this sort of stuff is always cool. A bit mad, but cool. Yeah. And actually work out a way of doing it. I think that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Sandbox Star Citizen, but it's a combined, what, over 10,000 combined hours total, they said. And it's it took them 450-ish hours to reach the, the center of the, or reach the outside edge of the star. It's, it's It's crazy that people want to do that. But I suppose 
once we actually have Star Citizen with a lot more going on, how how do you hide anything from a player base that's willing to spend uh, 20, well, not even just 22 days, what, almost 50 days? 50 days floating about, trying to work stuff out, just mm-hmm. having a, I wonder what's there. That's up. Got a couple of months spare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah, I mean, so Icarus 1 mission ran from the 27th of April to the 18th of May. Do you think these guys regret it at all? Or do you think they're really proud? Probably not. I hope they're proud. I mean, it, it was probably a, a really great experience for them because it was originally organised by an org called Deep Space Crew. However, multiple orgs were involved. People, like, obviously got wind of it and wanted to be involved. So it wasn't just them but I guess it was, it was one of them who went, oh, we should travel to the star. That would be great. I, I think it's an awesome thing when you get large groups of players or multiple orgs and stuff getting involved to do something like this. I mean, there is a beautiful and terrifying thing with Star Citizen that people will do some crazy stuff in its sandboxy nature that isn't necessarily by design at this point. It's because that's all we've got to do. And I do genuinely think that eventually it's going to be absolutely fantastic all this sort of gameplay. But in the meantime, people are making their own. And this is one of the crazy things they make. And sweet travels, good good luck to them with the rest of their mission. But man, that's, that's insane. I I lose focus after, a, like, I don't know, four or five hours doing something. I don't know how they how they had the time or the effort to do that. Good, yeah. good on them. I mean, especially the, the lead ships. Yes, you said that it was 19 or 20 days of like real life time that the lead, lead ship did. So, yeah, so they, they estimated that these, these people would be having to put in about 19 days of real life travel time into the game. Obviously, you would have breaks. You're, when lead, so there's lead A and lead B. When lead A needed a break, lead B would come along. Do you think they were alt tabbed a lot? Would you risk it? I mean, I would. Yeah, I know you would. <laughs> I probably wouldn't with the, my record of alt tabbing and star sits and immediately crashing. I mean, you'd have to have something good to read or an audiobook, wouldn't you? Eh? Mm. But it was it was literally um, it was literally like get there, align yourself, lock your movement so your ship won't move if you knocked your mouse or whatever. Set your thrusters to full and just go. So one of the things that we were curious about as well that there there was an an Aurora picture we saw mm-hmm. with a like a, a little self overlaid built compass thing that they had made. Yeah. But we couldn't really work out how that worked or we, we knew that that helped align them to for a most efficient and course corrected route. But we couldn't really work out how it was done. No, couldn't work out at all. I mean, I could obviously Photoshop an image like that, but it wouldn't work in game. At first I was thinking, well, maybe they've literally overlaid another screen on top of their Star Citizen. So it's, it perfectly lined up with the radar. Because that would work. Like all you need is a a compass and you just align it to the correct point i love the fact that people can get together do this giant sort of uh, adventure together even if it's quite a uh, dull or boring to some it is a big achievement and it's something silly and something to do just to say that they did it and because no one else had did it, done it before yeah although that'd be really upsetting if someone went oh no we did we did that as well we just didn't <laughs> didn't log it no log no proof yeah yeah so what do you think, Sin? Are you, are you proud of these guys? Do you hope that they do more missions? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's impressive. I think we were invited to come along and like watch, because they were like, oh, we're pretty close now, like, and they were offering people to come along and watch. I don't think I would have enjoyed watching it. We, we reported on it afterwards. Well, I, I enjoy reading everything like condensed afterwards, so I can just take it in. It's good. Good effort to you guys. Deep Deep Space Crew and all the other orgs involved with that. Awesome. We'll uh, post a link down to the blog posts and the Reddit posts uh, for that because um, I think they want as many people to know that they did that as possible. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, And we will give you an update if there's anything interesting in the centre of the star or at least uh, give it a little nod to in the news uh, when they get there. Good job, guys. Well done. GG. GG. No re. Thanks for listening. (laughs) Peace. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway and June is no different. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner to one lucky viewer that comments on one of my videos made during June on the YouTubes. 
just get involved in the comments section, ask a question, or tell me what you think about the video or the subject we were discussing. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.